So I'm here today to talk about installing a decked drawer system in a first gen Toyota Tundra. And I have a 2006 access cab and that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm not sure that this will work in a double cab and we'll talk about that in a minute. I was talking to my friends at Decked, and I told them, hey guys, I've got a Tundra now. I wanna have a deck system in this. What can we do? You guys don't make a kit for these trucks. So we went back and forth a little bit and we settled on getting a kit for the 2020 to current Toyota Tundras. And that's for the six and a half foot beds. They make a short bed one, which I think is five and a half feet, and then a six and a half foot one. And that's why I'm not sure this will fit in double cab. I believe the double cabs have a two inch shorter bed, but somebody that owns one will have to confirm that. So this is six and a half feet and it is Bolton. That's not an exaggeration. I actually had totally filmed a different video before I even really got to installing this thinking I was gonna be cutting and trimming and doing all the stuff to get it to fit. And I only had to make four small cuts and they're very minor. I think anybody can do this. So let's take a look at it and I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at what I got. This is the XT4 system for the six and a half foot bed. And like I said, it's for the 2020 to current model Toyota Tundras. This is not for a Ford. This is not for a first gen Tundra, but it is as bolted as it gets. So let's check it out. I'm gonna get some of this stuff out. I'm gonna get it into the truck bed and just kind of start measuring and lining things up. All right, that was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I kind of thought that was gonna be a major pain. But uh, yeah, basically just lift up in the middle and kind of pull it in from under the sides. And even with the tent rack, I was able to get it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the tie downs and you're gonna use a Torx T40 and you're gonna remove those. Okay, so this is the center vert. It's like the vertical piece, you know, obviously for the center. So I kind of have this laid out how they say to do it. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is place the side pieces in, and then that way I can place the top pieces on, or at least on one side, and kind of get an idea of how much I'm gonna have to cut. Okay, and so this is the first side piece in. Uh, you always wanna make sure that these are the wheel axles, and so these are out towards the tailgate. Uh, the first time I put them in, I actually put this on the wrong side, so. This is kinda just how it's placed here right now. I believe it's supposed to be sitting on top of these, so it's level, but, you know, same as here. So I'm gonna throw the other one in, and then uh, we can kinda start measuring some stuff. And so this is the basic placement of the three supports. These are the main supports. Again, the wheel axles are out towards the tailgate. And these are just kind of loosely placed in here right now. This is the first step to getting it all kind of pieced together. Okay, so I just have this loosely laid in. It's not um, in this channel. So if you can see, this is supposed to go in here. So we gotta move over, but I can't because of this. But I'm almost wondering if I flip these side to side, I think they're identical. Um, I was looking at them front to back. They look exactly the same measurement wise. Like, so I may just try to flip this so that that cutout can just go right here, but I don't know if it's enough. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of piece this together and see if uh, that's gonna work. All right, so I think my suspicion was correct. 
Maybe these 2020 beds are much closer to our first gens than we thought. Um, that fits perfectly, like pretty crazy actually. Uh, this isn't quite in here yet. Everything's kind of shifted around. This is a little bit hard to do with this tent up here um, and by myself. Uh, I may end up removing the tent and bed rack just to make this a little easier, but so far I think swapping sides is gonna work, but let's find out. Okay, so it's not actually a perfect fit. Um, as you can see, we are completely bottomed out here and it's just barely not snapping in. So it needs to move over not very much. And there's still room on each side of here before it hits the actual bed. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna cut I'm just gonna do one cut here. I'm probably gonna go, I don't know, maybe a little more than I need to, but you know, maybe, maybe like three quarters of an inch per side. And that should allow it to slide over. I do think I'm gonna have to trim a little bit at the front. So it does look like that's bottomed out right there. So I think I am gonna have to probably cut, just do a little notch here on each side and allow this to slide over just a little bit more so that this front edge can snap in because right now it's, it's pretty much bottomed out on each side. I don't think it's gonna um, work without doing that. So I'm gonna do a couple cuts and as you can see, this is the right side and this is the left side. But if you look at the instructions, they say the left side is on the left, you know, the way you look at it. So these are swapped. And from what I can tell, there's no difference. I think they actually can be swapped. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna make those couple cuts and go from there. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna point out there is this metal support rod right under here, and that's kind of where we're gonna be cutting. You know, we're gonna be cutting basically just a little bit here to here. That metal rod is basically like right here, so keep that in mind, don't go too deep. I'm gonna use an oscillating cutting tool, and I'm just gonna trim that real quick. All I did was cut about half an inch right here on each side, and then maybe a quarter inch right here. See, very easy. Just using an oscillating tool. This stuff cuts like butter. It's amazing how smooth and easily it cuts. So it's a super simple job. And there is a little bit of a gap between here and here, but I mean, it's an open bed, I don't care. This is, anything that's gonna be in these storage compartments is gonna be dirty anyways. So, you know, I don't know what I plan on keeping there, maybe fluids or something, but yeah. And we'll quickly take a look right here. So right in there, in that corner, I just notched it ever so slightly. And you can see it's a tight fit. It, uh, it fits great. You just have to make that one little cut. I probably even cut a little bit too much. Okay, now, Let's get into the, the actuality of this. And as you can see, you get these brackets from decked and it's to lower the D-ring. As you can see, the D-ring would have been up here and it would have been lateral. It wouldn't be pulling down, but these are all the way tight and they're loose. So I'm gonna go to the hardware store and just get 
a couple of turnbuckles that are a little smaller and we should be good to go. I don't know if you can really see in here, but um, the turnbuckles right here, you know, the, the stock ring that you leave in there is kind of level. It's again, not gonna pull down. So I might buy a couple of those brackets I just showed you from deck to lower the ring or the attachment point for the turnbuckle and it'll be a little bit more secure but as it is right now it's totally fine i'm not worried about it so one final point and why i say this isn't for a double cab um, i can only confirm this fits an access cab because that's what i have but there is only about half an inch clearance between my mount hatch tailgate and the deck and it is completely wedged into the back. From what I understand, the double cabs are like two inches shorter. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, you know, I would, I would say measure your bed. If you can find some with an access cab and try to, try to measure against them, you might be able to make something work. But for now, this is just for the access cab trucks. So this is, this is mine, it's a 2006, and you know, it is, it is wedged in there. There's no room. There's no way that you could really cut this. Um, you know, you, you might be able to, to try to trim the back a little bit, but I mean, the, the support rails go to back here, basically. I, I don't think you, there's any way you could trim this two inches and have it still work so it's a tight fit but also just check out how big these are so we've got these boxes I've got some other accessories coming but I'll probably put you know recovery gear and stuff in here and this has a handle, so you can pick it up and move it if you need. Uh, none of this is organized. I may do a whole video on how I'm gonna organize this thing. I just haven't even been able to think about it yet. I do, however, think this is gonna be kitchen and camp stuff. So that way, you know, if we're camping, and we're cooking on the rigged mega table, we can have like a whole little camp kitchen right here. So stove, whatnot right here. I've got the Dometic water jug that I usually have the faucet on so you can get water, wash dishes, whatever. And then camp gear and kitchen gear just right here. So if I need to get a spatula, whatever pot, quickly just place it right here. So I do think this one is gonna be for um, camping gear and kitchen stuff. So yeah, guys, I'm not really sure what else to say. Um, that was way easier than I thought. I thought this might've been like a two day install because I hate measuring and cutting. And the other YouTube videos I'd seen of people putting the Ford ones in or like the van ones, it's you're totally hacking them up and that was also in the older deck systems so this is the new one this is the xt4 and you don't have to cut anything into like any of the ammo cans or storage cans or whatever they call them it's literally just doing four very simple cuts and bolting it together i had planned on doing a full install video but decked has a whole series on that and there's no reason that i need to show you how to bolt it in so I showed you what you need to do to get it into a first gen access cab bed, but just follow the deck instructions. It's super easy. There's nothing I'm gonna be able to tell you that is gonna make it easier or better. There's nothing specific outside of what I showed you for the Tundras. And yeah, this is, this is your best bet to get a deck drawer system in your Tundra. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.